In this video, I'm going to talk about accounts receivable and accounts payable. Let's start with accounts receivable. Let's say you're a factory and you've made a whole bunch of merchandise. And then you um, have some other company come to you and say, Hey, look, we want to sell your merchandise. So here's what we want to do. We want to buy a whole bunch of your merchandise. We want you to ship it to our retail outlets. And we don't have enough money to pay you right now for all of it. But we will pay you within 90 days. So you say, okay, fine, sure, that's okay. So you make up a little contract with terms of, the, of what the deal is going to be. And so what happens is that 30 days after the company acquires your product, they will pay you back a certain amount of money. And then 60 days out, they pay you yet another amount. And then 90 days out, they pay you yet another amount, which finally finishes and terminates the contract. At least you hope they will. Sometimes they don't, and then that leads to another complication, which we'll talk about in another video. But that's basically accounts receivable. That is listed as an asset because you're going to eventually receive the money for the merchandise that you ship to their stores. All right, so that's accounts receivable. Now, accounts payable is kind of the reverse. Let's say you're the retail outlet, and you're buying merchandise from a factory that you want to sell in your store. So you say, hey, look, we want X amount of your inventory shipped to our store. We don't have enough money to pay you right now, but we will by 90 days. So they write out a contract, you sign it, you pay them back th in 30 days, you pay them back a certain amount, you pay them back another amount in 60 days, you pay them another amount in 90 days, thus fulfilling the contract. Well, they've already shipped you the merchandise, you're already selling it, and that's how you start paying them back. Alright? Um, now, accounts payable is listed as a liability because of this. It is a liability to another company. You are liable to them. That's what it means. And so, that's why accounts payable is listed as a liability, and accounts receivable is listed as an asset. Alright. Hopefully, this video did not... Um, confuse you too much. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Let me know how you thought of it. And I will talk to you in a future video, so stay tuned.